Most of the images that we have about the nervous system, especially about nervous circuits, are drawings because it's about lines, how the axons connect with dendrites, and the best way to represent that is the line, is the drawing. So my sculptures have a lot of fibers in which I create patterns that are reminiscent of uh, neuronal circuits. So I am influenced by scientific imagery. As you can see, some of the works are inspired in, in science fiction, and also images coming from uh, religion and the Baroque. And in some part, the Baroque is also connected with neuroscience because the brain is made out of millions and millions of neurons. It is full of intricacies, it's full of entanglements, and that is something that I can research through these kind of aesthetics rather than, for instance, through minimalism. I love working with metal and with steel. I have started also working with patinas, heat patinas, but also other patinas to change the color of the steel. In parallel, I work with silk that I cast in silicone molds and sometimes is a natural dye without any kind of dyeing, and other times I used other uh, different colors. Also, I use ornaments that are very organic. Sometimes I even cast brains or parts of the brain, and I include them in the sculptures. And I start assembling everything, trying to work in armatures that uh, have many possibilities open, so you don't close your possibilities at the very beginning, but you can still change things at the, through the process. Ramon Cajal had another metaphor about the brain, and he used to say that every man, if he so desires, becomes the sculptor of his own brain, through the act of thinking, through the act of creativity, through the, through the act of imagination. And I really like that sentence because it puts a lot of responsibility on yourself. I think it's very healthy to think in that way and to have the, the idea that uh, we can become our own artists or our own self-developers, or however you want to say it. <laughs>